Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you our 2014 NFL Draft Prospect Rankings video. We're taking a look at the defensive tackle position. We're going to look at my top 10, some small school prospects, as well as some sleepers that you want to keep an eye on. Lewis Nix out of Notre Dame is my number one rated defensive tackle prospect in this year's draft. He's 6'2", 345 pounds. Reminds me a lot of Vince Wilfork that plays for the New England Patriots. He dominates in the shade technique or a one tech. and He's excellent with his hands and also is a nimble big man. Now he turns his back at times and gets washed and he's coming off an ACL injury. So that's one concern you have about his game. But this is a guy that I think can't play the nose. He can't play a shade. He can play the one. Definitely is worthy of a first-round grade. That's why he grades out as my number one overall defensive tackle prospect. Next up is Aaron Donald out of Pitt at 6'1", 288 pounds. Here's a guy that has a variety of pass rushing skills. He has quick hands, and he disrupts the play with his burst off the snap. Now, he struggles to anchor versus the run, and he's not a power player, but like I said before, he disrupts with his burst and quickness off the ball and reminds me a lot of Nick Fairley, who plays for the Detroit Lions. Size isn't an issue with Donald. This is a guy that can definitely be an every-down defensive tackle on any defensive front. At number three, I have Rashid Hageman out of Minnesota, 6'6", 318 pounds. He's very quick off the ball. He uses his long arms to extend very well and holds his own at the point of attack. And he's versatile on the inside. This is a guy that can play the shade. He can play the one. He can even play the three in the pinch and also can line up outside as a five. Now, he has inconsistent knee bend, and he doesn't consistently use his hands to get off blocks. That's one thing that's going to have to change at the next level. But if you're looking for a comparison, look no further than Richard Seymour that played for the New England Patriots, the Oakland Raiders. Justin Ellis out of Louisiana Tech is a fine defensive tackle prospect at 6'2", 345 pounds. Has a lot of John Jenkins to his game. He's powerful and quick off the snap. He has very good pass rushing skills, and he's able to play across the interior of the defensive line. Now, he has laid hands at times, and that results in him getting washed or stonewalled at the line of scrimmage. But this is a guy that's not scheme-specific or position-specific. Like I mentioned before, he can play anywhere along that defensive front. He's a very good prospect in this year's draft. An intriguing yet talented defensive tackle prospect in this year's class is Dominic Easley out of Florida at 6'2", 285 pounds. Plays a lot like Leroy Glover that played for the New Orleans Saints and Dallas Cowboys. He has excellent ball get off, underrated strength at the point of attack, and he's very disruptive along that defensive line. Now, he doesn't play with excellent balance. And he also tends to play blind. He has to get better with his awareness, his spatial awareness, in order to be effective on a consistent basis. And he's also coming off an injury. So that's the biggest concern you have about Easley. But as far as talent is concerned, he's definitely worthy of a second-round pick. Keep an eye on Zach Kerr out of Delaware at 6'2", 330 pounds. Here's a guy that plays extremely well through double teams. He's able to extend and control, and he has very good quickness both with his hands as well as with his feet. Now, he needs to work on his variety of moves, and he plays a little high at times, has to get better pad level on a consistent basis. But you look at a guy that's solid, a former Maryland Terrapin, was able to go down to the 1AA FCS level and dominate Zach Kerr is an outstanding defensive tackle prospect. Will Sutton out of Arizona State has been a consistent performer throughout the course of his Sun Devil career at 6'1", 315 pounds. Plays a lot like Kawan Short of the Carolina Panthers in both his style and the questions that are surrounding him coming out of college. He has active hands, he has good quickness off the snap, and he's a disruptive penetrator on the inside. Now at times he struggles to disengage and he loses leverage at times. He must work through double teams a lot better than what we saw of him at Arizona State. But overall, like what he brings to the table and definitely is worthy of a second round grade. At number eight, I have Daquan Jones out of Penn State at 6'3", 318 pounds. He has quickness for a man his size. He's technically sound, and he fights through double teams very well. He's been well coached throughout the course of his collegiate career. Reminds me a lot of Akeem Spence that plays for the Bucks. Now, what he has to work on, he has inconsistent leg drive. A lot of times you see him stop and get stonewalled at the line of scrimmage. He's going to have to fight through that and continue to pump his legs. But overall, you have to like what he brings to the table. Like I said before, well coached coming out of Penn State. Timmy Jernigan out of Florida State was a highly touted high school recruit and played productive football throughout the course of his three years down in Tallahassee. He's 6'2", 298 pounds, and he holds his own at the point of attack. He plays with great leverage, and he extends well. That's important for a defensive tackle. Now, he doesn't play fast, he's not explosive, and he's not really a pass rushing threat. He's more of a run stopper, which is why I think he's more comparable to Earl Mitchell that plays for the Houston Texans. Rounding out my top 10 is Stephon Tewitt out of Notre Dame at 6'5", 315 pounds. He's a solid one-gap penetrator. He's very tough to move off the spot. Now, he struggles to disengage. He plays too high, and he lacks that quickness that can separate a defensive tackle prospect from being solid to 
is special. This is a prospect that has done a great job throughout the course of his career being productive in that defensive front, that 3-4 defensive front. And I think his home at the next level will be either at a 1 or a 5 technique. I'm a big fan of Karan Reed and what he brings to the table coming out of Princeton at 6'2", 301 pounds. Reminds me a lot of Henry Melton that plays for the Chicago Bears. He has very good athleticism. He's a versatile defensive lineman. He played every defensive line position for Princeton throughout the course of his four-year career, and he uses good technique all the time. Now, he struggles at times fighting through double teams, so you want to see him get better with his anchor and getting through those double teams at the next level. But overall, very good prospect. Had an excellent senior bowl week, and I think he'll do fine at the next level. Jamie Meter out of Ashland is an outstanding player at 6'2", 306 pounds, was a Division II All-American, two-time All-American, and two-time Defensive Lineman of the Year. He's a good power mover, which means he's mastered the push-pull rip and the club move. He plays stout at the point of attack. He has very good pursuit skills. Now, he doesn't play with good leverage at time, and that's something that's going to have to change if he wants to be a consistent performer at the next level. But his skill set right now reminds me a lot of Jarrell Casey that plays for the Tennessee Titans. Antoine Lewis out of Villanova is your classic three technique at 6'2", 285 pounds. Tremendous quickness off the snap. Great hand usage as well. And does a great job in playing the run. That's one underrated element about his game. Two-time all-conference performer and an FCS All-American. Keep an eye on him moving forward as I think he's another one of these prospects coming from the FCS level that possess a tremendous NFL skill set. Ryan Carruthers out of Arkansas State is 6'1", 330 pounds, plays a lot like Ian Williams of the San Francisco 49ers. He's your classic nose tackle that wins with quickness over the center, and he has mastered and got it down to a science, the push-pull-rip technique. Now he waits rather than reacts at times, and you want to see him get a little bit more aggressive and get a little bit more active at the line of scrimmage at the next level, but overall, very solid skill set coming out of the Sun Belt Conference. Anthony Johnson out of LSU is an early entry to the draft. He's a junior at 6'2", 295 pounds. He can one arm extend very well. That's important for a defensive lineman. He has very good athleticism. He can either be a three technique as well or enter as a one technique in the National Football League. But at times, his hands tend to die once he's engaged. He has inconsistent one-on-one -on -one defense. A lot of times at LSU, he was doubled and he'll have problems splitting the double team. But when he was one-on-one, -on -one, he was inconsistent in winning those individual battles. That's going to have to improve if he wants to move up draft boards, if he wants to get better at the next level. But his skill set right now overall reminds me a lot of Kyle Williams that plays for the Buffalo Bills. Kelsey Quarles out of South Carolina is another early entry as well. 6'3", 298 pounds. He's a classic one-gap penetrator who extends very well and has very good leg drive. Now, he's a little stiff athletically, and he lacks a counter move. He's a one-trick pony. He's going to have to get a little bit more variety in his pass rushing. But right now, as a run stuffer, as a guy that can be a penetrator, he's an excellent prospect moving forward. Reminds me a lot of Ray McDonald that plays for the San Francisco 49ers. Another intriguing defensive tackle prospect is Daniel McCullers out of Tennessee at 6'7", 345 pounds. He has tremendous upside. This is only his sixth season of organized football. He has good point of attack strength, and he's not easy to move off the spot. But he's not explosive, and he has minimal technique and needs to play with better leverage. And I think the latter two can be improved at the next level, which is why I say the upside is definitely there. When you look at a guy's skill set to compare him to, look no further than Tommy Kelly that plays for the Oakland Raiders. There's a lot to like about DeAndre Coleman out of Cal at 6'5", 315 pounds. He wins the hands battle. He understands leverage. He extends well and has functional strength. Now, he has no counter move, inconsistent leg drive, and he tends to reach. But initially, off the snap, he wins a lot. And he has good all-around game, which is why I've given him a solid fourth-round grade. But this is a guy that reminds me a lot of Kedrick Golson that plays for the Washington Redskins. I'm a big fan of Kyrie Thornton out of Southern Miss at 6'2", 300 pounds. Plays a little bit like Roy Miller of the Jacksonville Jaguars. He's very good in pursuit. He has good read and recognition skills. He has good enough strength to anchor in the running game. Now, he has adequate explosiveness. You want to see him get a little bit more explosive off the snap. And he plays the guessing game a little bit too much. Sometimes you'll see him get a push and just wait for the quarterback to make a move. You want to stay aggressive throughout the play, throughout the pursuit, and tracking the ball carry. But overall, very good skill set. He's going to surprise some once he gets drafted. Kerry Hyder out of Texas Tech is a guy that possesses good moves. Once he engages, he does a great job in shedding blocks. That's very important for a defensive lineman because half your the battle is getting off the block. He's 6'2", 280 pounds. Now he loses his feet and balance at times. He's not a powerful player. More of a finesse guy. And I think he'll do a better job as a three-tech as opposed to the five that he played at Texas Tech. 
So here are my final 2014 NFL Draft prospect rankings for the defensive tackle position. A deep class this season. Only three first-round graded prospects. And as you can see, they are color-coded by round grade. Lewis Nix, Aaron Down, and Rasheed Hageman. But there's a bunch of guys in the second and third round who will be excellent players and excellent starters at the next level. And when you look at in the later part of the draft, the fourth fifth and even sixth round you're gonna see some guys on this list that have some outstanding talent julius warmsley out of tulane also bo allen out of wisconsin very impressed with what he was able to do as a badger i think he played out of position for wisconsin you also look at maybe a guy like eagle ferguson coming out of lsu and nathan ollie big fan of his game productive player despite his size coming out of ball state outstanding defensive tackle class this season